lost to three of the top four. But yeah, the fact yeah. is, if you're going to make a good run, you're going to have to beat one of those type of teams. You're going to have to. Yeah, sooner or later. Uh, and again, it was a 3-0 when they matched up a couple of weeks ago. They did play Invasion Hardpoint. Uh, Faze able to win that one, like 250 to 178. And then there was like back-to-back -back Karachi. So that's why you're not going to see that one in this series. No Karachi, lots of Invasion. As we'll see, uh, maybe if a little bit more time and focus on the objective early on in this one. Sell, Abizi opening things up early. That is all four down in a row there for Thieves is uh, early control over the face. Yeah, Abizi maybe just trying to get aggressive here inside a laundry. And well, Thieves, they're kind of just thinking, do we just maybe try to get this player off point and then push up towards P2? But they're going to find a BZ and Simp who were trying to get aggressive. And a nice response there for Thieves. So they go 4-5 dead in a row. Now able to find some time, but on rotation over towards P2, it'll be a better setup here for FaZe. Yeah, if those kills came through with like whoo, a five to 10 seconds left, maybe on the clock or on the transition for the hard point, maybe it works out, but you had what, like 20. So they're able to set up, you get into a good position of your FaZe, you get some nice kills if you are Simp. He is hunting, picking him apart, got the Predator. Yeah, and now you had what, your last two spawns for LA Thieves before this hill pops were gas. So you're all the way across the map, first 10 seconds. Your first player here is Nasty, who spawned up Palace, able to win the gunfight though so now you have a pinch developing if you are la thieves scrap able to find the first get him off that hill and every single time where it's looking a little bit messy or la Th or sorry if thieves are in trouble they fight right back out of it yeah, it's like when it looks clean for phase then make it messy i think it's what you're going for yeah. like they're able to just disrupt things get them out and now, I mean, yes, more points on the objective, certainly. It's another multi-kill here for Sep as he's beaming at six and three. He still almost have a minute off the play clock. It's, it's been hotly contested early on. Final 10 or so seconds looking to be the way a phase. We're on Sep's POV. Can't quite connect. Crimp wins at close range. Now there with the MCW. Right over to sell now. What damage can he do? The answer is none. That's a double for Ghosty. And here we go. A chance for Thieves. Yeah, this is perfect for LA Thieves at this P3. You get a couple of kills as that rotation is. The hill is about to pop. And well, Sip, he found a couple, but they just spawn up blue side. So you rotate over towards P3. You are so far away. Here comes the first break attempt for Atlanta Phase. 20 seconds in. It's going to be Simp leading the way up at seven and four. There's the first gunfight, diving, dodging, dipping, just trying to finesse, get some help from his teammates, but the help is not there. That ends up working out beautifully if you are Thieves. You had a four on three there for a moment of your face because one spawns out for Thieves, but you can't ch quite get across in time. It's funny because sometimes like, it looks so easy on the minimap. Like, you look at it, you're like, you just got to put it. It's 10 feet away, but uh, getting across some of the streets, though, with, with the crossfire can be so difficult. Yeah, I can. Now Afro finding a couple of uh, spawn kills. So you still have the parking lot spawns, and while well, BZ's just been lurking, going to find some of that scrap time. So maybe just trying to flip the map for the P5 is P4 about to spawn on up. And yeah, this is one of those moments where both teams are fighting for map control. But watch number seven, Simp. He's kind of lurked through. Obviously, the comms going to be hectic on both sides, trying to call out names, trying to hunt. So they have spawns for the next hill. Yeah, we know. You know Deddy's in the game. How insane he can be. Is Sally able to snap now? Simp still lurking that number seven on the map. Crip is still fighting. Number one and Ghost, he's still looking for him, just trying to track him down the other side of it. And again, it's just like stalemate where you're, everyone is fighting for map control and information. The objective is third. <laughs> yeah, just trying to set up for P5. And here we go. There's gunfights on the opposite side of the map is Nasty. Maybe trying to get him off the time. Well, Drys is going to hear that. And now the gunfight's going down around DVD, but FaZe have the spawns that they want. Now trying to transition over towards this B Street, but Kremp on five in a row. Kremp, can he disrupt this? Can oh, he stay up? Not going to happen. Cell just slides through and catches him. It's at number six every single time. It feels like it's that much harder. If he just holds that pre aim, maybe he's able to find a, a kill. But this is great now for Thieves. You, you had the spawns if you were FaZe. You still do, but you don't find the kills as the hill pops, so it's a little bit messy again. Right as that comes in, the Thieves are doing enough. Still there, still fighting, but it is still phase inside of the point. Finally, you burst through with the kills from Crip and Afro. Now you flip them out. And, and like, even though you've had some really early setups from FaZe, a team that sometimes at hard point is known so well for their breaking and struggled at holding, it seems like those old woes are here. They have not been able to do much with an early setup or get into that early setup due to the place from Thieves. Well, Afro, he's going to be the last one, but he's able to find a double. No trophy on the hill. 
waiting for his teammates off a of spawn and through our first set of hills, you're going to be up about 60. Yeah, just controlling the money hills so far for LEDs. Honestly, it feels like the sub base we casted earlier in some ways. I know that was like a tie game, but it was like not a lot of clean time. Just kind of messy, lots of breaks, lots of contests, lots of the play clock. Then we get to this point. And typically someone starts to take over, starts to rally a bit and start to accrue a lot more of that objective time. We'll see if that ends up maybe being the case here on the invasion. Simp looking for the openers. One tucked in front behind the box, not able to get through. His nasty is able to pick his head off, following up those BZ and Cell. Last player drops the draws, and that's everybody wiped out. So spawning back right will be Thieves. Phase lock it down for now. Yeah, but now you have this setup here. You look at Phase getting so aggressive once again, trying to get spawns for P2. On that street side, a BZ was all the way back gas. There is the flip. So you have LA Thieves spawning out towards Palace, but the rest of this time, should go the way of these, unless it 18 X. I mean, uh, as long as they're maintaining like this 60 or so point advantage, yeah, just keep getting a little bit in the early time, taking the final 10 to 15 or so, and just maintaining this advantage. Maybe not as orthodox as you'd like it, but like it's working out. It's been scrappy, it's been messy, but it's getting the job done. The lead continues to grow. Abizi trying to find openers now, but this is a big moment here for Thieves. You've got a chance to get a ton of time. You've got a big advantage. Looking to shock them in a map one to listen in now with Los Angeles Thieves. We should play for the old, man. We're gonna be like, right. 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 yeah. Just went dark and sells on all. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
maybe take a fight and get back in, but you're getting a healthy amount of time here. If you're Los Angeles Thieves, you're about to crack over that 220 mark, hitting back in will be Simp. He's able to earn a streak, so you're gonna have that cluster to work with. You get to about 230 here. If you're LA Thieves, you're so close. Still work to do. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have that cruise, but when are you gonna use it, right? If you are a sim, 227. Again, this is a chance towards this P1. Can you just find five, 10 seconds at a time if you are LAD? Just get a trophy down, find some mid-map kills. And look at this, Kremp gonna spawn behind, same with Ghosty. So you're gonna have a bit of a pinch here, kind of develop off of the spawns, but they're gonna read it. Kremp able to take down one, it's a two for two so far. Yeah, I think a BZ spawned out, so they got the read quickly, and so when any of the gun fights, it's thieves that come away with with three straight. Sim now getting wall banged, trying to stay up on 27 and 19, but it is trickling away. 15 more now needed for Thieves. Just looking to shut it down. Sip itself, get him out of the point. Sip looking for another, but it is still a second here and there for Thieves, but just not enough. You, right, you have the cruise. Your face. Yeah, you have the cruise here to break this P2 setup. Eight more seconds needed. Simp, the man with the missile, who's going to have to use this. Ten seconds left on this P1. He's going to earn this time. And he got to kill at the same time. Yeah, now you, you're going to see just these red arrows start to scramble. Trying to put it down quickly. This Simp. Kremp is there, though. He's able to find one. He finds a double. Kremp going massive, holding on to the hill. Trip a monster there, and it might be enough to close it out. Just four more now needed. Go see it with the pistol. Back in they go. Thieves striking first and on the board. Well, big surprise there. We were talking about this Thieves team. They've played this map a lot, five times throughout the qualifiers. You know, FaZe undefeated 2 0 throughout the qualifiers, one of their better hardpoint maps. And it just felt like time and time again, you were you're fighting for the spawns, and then Thieves find a kill or two to make things messy enough and give them map control. I, I was starting to get just a little nervous because it just, you, usually when the game's like that, I said at the very beginning, when it's just back and forth, it's crap, it usually like cleans up a bit and someone starts to make a run. I thought, never I thought FaZe were gonna make a run, but they just never did. That, that play saw, that getting those final 15, those quick little breaks and getting five to 10 here and there, it continued the entire game. That was like a, I don't, the word, this is a, like a very gritty win. <laughs> no, it is, yeah, that's how invasion can be. Looking at the stats there, again, Josie's so consistent, but you get some help from Kremp, the new addition, 25 and 24 on the other side, Simp leading the way with 29. I mean, yeah, you can see by the damage, by the kills, how close of a game it was, but a lot of it was just the timing of when those kills came in, right? When Thieves is able to break on through, kind of flip the map, spawn a couple of players out for phase. We know how spawns can be at times on this map, and it was just enough. No, because like the first, I think we talked about like their first kind of break, it came with like 15 to 20 seconds left and it allowed FaZe to sort of set up and get like a comfortable set. The rest of the time, pretty much every other hard point, it came with just, you know, five to 10 left. It, it allowed them to not get a great setup. It was such a good job of just never allowing FaZe to get comfortable. Let them get in their spots and just fry. Yeah, gritty win, as you said. Yeah, no, it really was. It was it was impressive from FaZe. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, like, you kept feeling maybe like that moment was going to happen, but this 60, 70, 80 point lead stuck around. Like you saw them setting up in those spots. You saw the cruise missile come in, but it didn't really matter as Afro right here able to break towards that P5 and then it was just a matter of time. I know Invasion can play like that, but like how many times this year has it been an Optic? It's been an Ultra. It's been a phase. It's been a New York. You come out, you're down 50 to 100 to hard point. It's like, all right, time to, you know, time to play. And it starts to take over. I just kept thinking there was going to be that run at least, and there just wasn't. There wasn't. They closed it out. They get the win. Frustrating loss there for FaZe, I'm sure, coming off the loss in the final match to LAG. The hard point this year, for the most part, I think has been improved over the past couple of years, where that was really kind of their, their bane. But, I mean, there's still not lights out, though, that's for sure. No, yeah, still some things to work on as we look at the game flow right there. You just kind of see the darker red era, uh, red line just stay a little bit ahead as LAD just control the map. Yeah, the colors are playing tricks yeah. the whole time. Just so used to phase being right. I'm like, I can do this. Yep. Yeah, I can handle the arrows. <laughs> but uh, we get through the map one. Thieves, you know, I, it's been a lot of uh, invasion success for them where they've started to get these wins. They've started to improve as a team. You get it the first three in the series. You get Karachi's out where... You know, FaZe can be such a threat. 
Can they keep it going on Invasion? Yeah, now you go to this Invasion SD where I think you're undefeated if you're LADs with this roster throughout the qualifiers. On the other side, for FaZe, it was such a strong map. I believe they were 5-1 and one throughout Major 1 on Invasion. But throughout the qualifiers, 1-2. and two. So maybe we, we talk about a little bit drop-off, focusing, focusing on the respawn, teams figuring out how FaZe like to play the map. Now you talk about adjustments for this Major. <laughs> I do. I like. Hey, listen. I don't think I pinned hey, when we were talking about like, what we thought the upset might be today. If there was one, like I, I, I guess I was thinking probably Vegas, maybe just just because the success they've had. This one, I didn't really think. I really didn't think it was going to be happening. But a chance for it now after the map one victory. Yeah, I mean, we saw Boston earlier, right? Win map one versus yeah, New true, York, true, so true. You, you never know. But again, looking at major two qualifiers, this is where these have been very good. Six and three, five and four on the other side. But the key is that opening dual win percentage, which the desk talked about, sort of Afro and Nasty, how effective they have been on the map. Finding those opening kills. Finding the round wins behind it. We'll see if they can dominate in that effort here into the map two or if Somebody like Simp or somebody like the first blood god of BZ historically in search and destroy how good he can be. Into the map, do we go. All right, we'll see what FaZe off to do in this round number one. You only have Nasty all the way in the back, so you're going to play the retake over towards B. If you are LA Thieves, right? No trophy. We've seen a lot of players not want to play this site without a trophy. And that is going to be it. It's going to be all about this retake. Now, guy kind of lurking deep in cell, maybe waiting for that push through. It's Kremp that might be chomping at the bit to, uh, at the bit to work this pinch if it becomes the play. Some shots come in. You hop off it for a second. Not really working to get that bomb down yet. They're starting to push out. Ice Cream, see if they can find the kills. Nasty able to get one. Abizi wants to go for the trade. Not able to take it. Nasty, Ghosty win the fight. Suddenly, it's going to be Cell all by his lonesome. They didn't feel comfortable. There was no trophy down. They decide to get arrested behind it. and. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Bomb goes down first, too, you, like, you kind of have to go very busy at that point, like, try to get it back, but... Yeah, Bomb is just in the worst place possible for Selium. Now, and he's got 20 seconds to work with. Good luck, but LAD strike first in our map number two. Yeah, I guess they're trying to maybe get a kill, get out, then plant, but both lose their one-on-ones. Hey, Nasty with the first, able to make the play. Ghosty closes out the tail end of the round. Thieves continue to roll. Again, with that opening, opening dual percentage, able to find that first blood. Turns into a round win. Ghosty, he's able to find two. See now what FaZe ought to do on defense, and if these try to bring some pace here in, in their first attacking round. Looking to group this up towards B. He got it easy. Selium kind of holding the A side, but the first one's going to come through from Crump. Can they capitalize on it again? Sip is going to drop. Waiting deep will be draws, but really the help will be quick to the mid cut. It'll be a BC that'll get there. You're sort of just waiting to group up and push if you are thieves. Now you start to go. Work the site, smoke is out. Yeah, and who's usually the one player that we see kind of, you know, help retake this is Simp, right? He's the guy who plays connector, throws that smoke down. He has been such a playmaker when teams opt to go B, but he's the one first blooded as he got Aggressa up towards Broken. Draza opens up the door, puts a little crack in it, trying to put some shots in. But while that goes on, Abizi does get taken down, so we're into a three on two with that nade. Draza and Cell now trying to clutch. Krem, some big multi kills. Through that map one, see if you have big moments here in the search of the story. Ripped out a 19 HP. Nearly that's a 2v2. Just able to get down. The nasty finds the kill. Fantastic stuff there. Again, just smoked on the cross, but able to stay up. Finally, the flank comes in. You stay alive so long there on the site. But finally, Ghost is able to push through. Nice stuff by LA Thieves. Just very aggressive. Know exactly what they want to do on the map. I thought right there. They were trying to rotate it out, but then another kill comes in, and Josie's like, all right, I'm going to hit the flank, because he was over towards that A-bomb site all by his lonesome. But then it's just Kremp with the first blood. So far, so good on the first blood front. We only have Draza, the only player with kills. Yeah, no, it's not going well on that no. side. And, uh, you know, they, they've kind of, like, where some teams have 
had to pull out like, optics so it comes out slow sometimes pull off the reverse sweeps we've seen it from new york like face for the most part if you know kind of kind of call it strong and serious not the case here so far it is all thieves they are dominating ghosty yet to drop we might have a very similar around to round number one. That the goes only better difference, now. The only difference, Abizi finds that first blood with a beautiful shot right through the door. We saw the stun hit nasty. His trophy not in a good enough spot to block those nades. So he gets caught. Now bombed down, and they are down a man. Can they work the three on four retake? Not going to be easy. 35 to go. Where will maybe the opening pick come from? This will be the two man push. Looking for somebody able to trade, but now it's going to be one person remaining. It's Ghost who's yet to drop. You're probably thinking about streaks now with 20 seconds left. Just see if you can get a kill. Yeah, 4 0. Oh, so just really depends what he opts to do. Knows there's a couple of players on this side. Uh, Not going to find one. Now might uh, come the double uh -oh. chow. Can he get number five? No, Abizi has played this so, so well. And there we go. He's going to get the kill. So phase. They stop the streak and they get on the board. Dude, just the shoulders there from a BC just kind of toying with him. Unbelievable oh, there from a BC. Then the wall peg through to finish the kill. You get the round victory. You stop Ghosty for maybe earning a cruise. And you're right back in this one. But yeah, I mean, a little bit different losing bomb and ice cream versus getting your first blood and ice cream. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, Nasty's hoping that that stun does not hit, but he does. We kind of got to his point of view. Right, as we saw, he was in trouble. He tries closing that door, and then I thought maybe he was just going to play his life and back away, but goes for the, the little shot through the crack. Instead, of easy ready for it. He's on two in a row. Big moments there. Simp still looking for his first kill in this. He's going to be the point man. Likely going to have to deal with the pressure. So he's the only one here, and he's on MCW. Yeah, closes the door, and he's out. Yeah, uh, he's not going to deal with a two-man push too well with that. But now the Nick comes in, tries to reposition some tags in. Stun hits, need hits, but not the kill. Yeah, maybe looking for it. But while that happens, Sim gets aggressive inside a DVD. Now the smoke is down, B-Dom. The trade there from Abizi, so still the man advantage. But now we're in a two on two, and things are getting messy here. Afro and Ghosty try to make this round happen. The smoke towards that tank just really causes all the chaos again, and FaZe get caught. Zelda might find a good timing here. 20 seconds to go. He's able to get one, one versus one. Bomb heading for Afro, tank heading for Cell. Doesn't get the plant down. He decides to send it. Who gets the timing to slide underneath for Sal, but it's Afro with the kill. Thieves now up 3-1. And I love that from Afro. He knows he has the rival. He gets up close and personal with it. Able to catch Celium. Cell maybe just trying to catch a timing, see if he goes uh, for a jump, for a slide off. It doesn't happen. No, I, that was perfect. Yeah, like, get up in his face, 100%. That's a mid-range fight, unless you're hitting some Disgusting rival shots. I mean, he's sells one of the hardest 1v1 fights in the game. He's winning that with the MCW, but good stuff from Afro. Yeah, and I mean, Sim gets that first blood inside a DVD, but then just everything kind of goes wrong for them as they try to go for those trades. Some big kills from Afro. Now a bit of a switch up. It's Afro who's going to play B. Instead of just nasty by himself. He does get naded, but he is safe for now. Got a little bit of help. The way of Nasty just stomping almost right over him. Abizi comes sprinting in. Afro is lurking three in a row for him. They're picking him apart. Nasty's able to get a double. It's finally just on to sell. Last alive again, round after round. It is Thieves. They're dictating the pace. They're dictating the tempo. They're up 4 1. They closer and closer to a 2 0 edge. And considering that the, what, mega lopsided thing in this is the control, you can take that 2-0 edge into that. Hell yeah, if <laughs> you are thieves. No, I mean, I, I don't know if the comms are that they don't see Afro cross into that corner. The nade hits, maybe they think they, he backs away. But we saw that first player just walk right into Afro. He gets there quickly, just kind of prones and hangs out. But there's another first blood for thieves. Afro. He's close to streaks now. Ghosty came up a little bit short trying to get that cruise. Maybe a chance for him. Can he get the fifth round up now? Where's the first blood going to come from? Kind of spreading it out, slowing it down here for a moment if you're thieves. 
Maybe try to catch like a BZ or somebody get over aggressive. That's not going to be the case. Every kind of holding right now for FaZe. And now they start to develop the push, but 30 seconds off the clock. We'll now start to try and work this B street. The pressure I mean, draws on Sim. Yeah, sometimes when, when you're a team who's just not playing your game, if you are phase or he, yeah. you're getting caught on timings, sometimes a player like a BZ or Sim says, screw it, I, I'm going to just try to find, get aggressive, make plays myself. So Thieves slow it down, but Draza through connector able to find the first blood and you now he's just going to back away, hang out with his teammates. But we saw this just a couple rounds ago where a first blood comes in for phase, but then Thieves able to win their attack. They've kind of been wrapping this back and forth. Draza trying to get info. Not sure if he saw one on the cross yet. Now he's going to spot one. A BZ looking to collapse based on that information. The nade able to hit and get some damage in. But as they push through, it's Draza again that's able to strike. His second in the round. Draza will get pushed out and dropped. Now the three remaining players from base to close it out. A BZ will pounce. And the crossfire is there to close it out. You get your second one up and... Try to get back into this. Yeah, they group up. Draza again with two in the round. But a big thing is they stop this streak from Afro. He was on five in a row as he found one in the round from a trade. But there you can see he's the last player taken down. So no cruise, but still a two-round lead. Where do you have to improve things if you're faced? Like, well, what's been going wrong for you here so far? Well, I think just really maybe switching up on attack, right? It's sort of just been this sort of B-hit, B-hit time and time again. <laughs> It's worked out once when Abizi found a first blood. Outside of that, the aggression hasn't really worked quickly up the B Street. So maybe they slow things down. But on the opposite end, you got aggressive on the B Street there through Connector. It was nasty and Afro. Maybe looking for something. Some aggression from FaZe, but it doesn't happen. So you have two players mid now. And Nasty right back to that solo B site. And you can see where Ghosty's watching from all the way deep bridge, kind of the cross to A. You got one at that mid tank and crap. Smoke out, and you got to think they're going to try and execute behind that. Cramps just lurking, prone for info. Can he catch one? Now moving up from Bridget will be Ghosty trying to work this collapse. Draza able to get another first blood. He's been massive for them in these last couple of rounds, but an instant trade there from Afro now. 3v3 with 40 to go. Yeah, Ghosty might put it into this round, really. Yeah, so Bama is about to be planted. You saw BZ checking the A street. So he doesn't see anything, but there is a quick trade. Nice trade by BZ. so into a two-on-two. -two. A lot of the times, it just comes down to sell, kind of the plays that he makes away from the site. So watch that number eight. See, he works through connector. Both teams just trying to finesse, find each other on the map. And it's a BZ again. Gives them the man advantage. On Nasty now. One versus two. 20 to go. A BZ damage in. Closes it out. Big round for him. But no, I think you're right. Go see okay, if he gets the kill and gets away. Like the trade's not there. Yeah, may end up being round for them. But if he ends up getting with the next three. <laughs> yeah, it just looked like one of those rounds where FaZe just wasn't too worried about the A Street. Like, you had a couple of players shoulder it, but there was no one really watching it in case that player worked up to the bomb that allowed Ghosty to get to that spot. But the timing doesn't go his way. As soon as bomb is planted, he's traded out. Now Abizi on five in a row, trying to swing his team back into the lead. And that, no, I was just saying, he didn't have the ace right now because Drazi got that first blood and dropped, right? Yeah, but five in a row. Bringing it back, the streak, maybe the difference if he's able to earn it. But a hell of a job there at eight and four. Once again, simple. Be that lone man over towards B. A lot of movement there mid-map from Draza. As he's thinking maybe some of the utility is an execution coming in on B. He starts to rotate over to help Sim, but for now, it's right back. Wow, this timing. I mean, yeah, if Draz maybe is watching that mid-cross and Abizi may be watching it, you, you had like two or three players just kind of run right through that B-Dom area with the rotation, but so they don't see it, but now they're going to know. And eight is out. A BZ now just trying to finesse inside of this area. Repositions, trying to find number six is the smoke. His mid tank again. Last time through, he had an MCW. He's going to isolate Ghosty. He doesn't get the kill, though, so no cruise, but it's a first blood, and there is a trade from Afro. Yeah, no, it's a good point. Like, this time, he wants to send it because the rival in hand, but to this 3v3 now. Sam, he's only got one. He had a great All map. the timing. The timing on Nasty. He just looked left. Oh, the struggles continue for Sam, but now trophy out in sight control. Maybe the round five victory, or the round five on the board, I should say, for Thieves. Bomb planted. Here we go. It's on draws and sell. Kind of on the other side of this. Can they win a crazy one-on-one -on -one fight? Give themselves a chance into a 2v2. Now happened on the first. All on sell. He gets his kill. 
trying to send it on to the next one. Get this down to a 1v1. Great finesse, though. Trying not to dance too much. You win it with the pistol, though. Suddenly, maybe a 1v3. 13 HP, staying up. 24 seconds to go. Cell trying to make the play. So many SD clutches to his name. Can he do it? Can he win this fight against Kremp? He spotted him. He got info. Crimp's got a finesse. He's got a dance. He dipped. He, he dipped, got though. Out. He is gone. That should decide the round. Cell may get the kill, but not even that. Crimp puts him in the dirt. The finesse. Round five up. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things around that take when you were finessing, right? He goes to wide peak the bomb, but Cell's watching left, the left side of it, not on the bomb site. And then as the second peak comes through, he's like, all right, I know where you're at. I am out of here. He like almost like that pillar is not there, probably catches him, but like he gets behind the pillar just enough to slide back behind the take and get out. Woo! One but more round needed for a 2-0 edge. Yeah, but again, 25 seconds left and Sims still one player over towards B. That timing goes a little bit differently. Maybe they tie it up instead. It goes the way of Nasty and LA Thieves. Yeah, I mean, Sim obviously one of the better search and better overall players in the game at one and six. He's, I'm guessing he's had some bad timing to touch throughout the course of this one. We'll see if the woes continue, but you do get another first blood behind a BZ. Now the 4v3, but Nasty is just holding for now. Made some plays around ice cream in round one. Can he maybe find that luck again? But this time, looks like they're getting picked apart. Just headshots through on the feed. Cell draws up all on Nasty. Knock, knock, and maybe a surprise where the gig is up. Nice shots onto a BZ, but so much more work to do. 11 left Hold in the on. gun, but the gunny is there, and Draza is melted. Often in a 1v4, it's the second guy that might throw it away, and Draza's got slammed. <laughs> Yeah, you still have a stun if you are nasty, but look at this. You don't re you reposition around broken. So Cell, maybe trying to go for a peek. Yeah, shoulder over towards dark. Still has 30 seconds to work with, so a different route, but it seems like he got spotted. Yeah, he did get spotted, and there we go. So they're watching that cross in the middle of the map. <sighs> Would have been a lot, but again, a first blood for a BZ opens up that site, and then they're just able to take it one by one. Yeah, draws got deleted. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thankfully at the spot. Otherwise, who the hell knows away? Nasty was shooting. Is this like, uh, is this kind of like almost when if you're thieves based on like the lead you had, you're like up 4-1, <laughs> you're the underdog, like you got to win this map too. Yeah, I think there's a, you know, a mental side to it. There always is. Yeah. If you throw sort of on their way. side, but I mean, they've had a, a tough year, so they might just be chalk it, just go on to the next. But <laughs> yeah, right. They would love to be up 2-0, just kind of the way they have attacked this map. Going right back over towards B. Draza, he's going to find the first blood. No trophy in the area, though. Yeah, I think but he's able to finesse. Might be his third. But look at this aggression. From the two players, Simp and Abizi. Ghosty's able to spot one, and he's trying to find anything that he can on the flank to even out the odds. Well, last time they were able to isolate him. This time he's able to back away. He gets the info. They're never able to find him. Oh. He can't finish it, though. You'd love that one back. Just needed another bullet. Now Afro's kind of transitioning over for the help as that call comes in from Ghosty, but Abizi away and alive for now. 4v3 for FaZe. Maybe around 11. Afro, the, the nade hits. He thinks maybe he's going to be able to pounce on one, but he drops right onto a nade. Crimp, though, the pistol able to drop Simp. 3v3. Abizi with the dumpster. 2-2v2. Two, two, two. Afro pounces Abizi again. Oh my the guy's gosh. going nuts, but now... It's just Kremp, 1v2, 20 to go. I mean, a busy snaps on a Kremp as well. He almost finds the triple, but the time working against Kremp. Draza going to spot him. He's got to try to wrap on back. I don't think it is going to happen. Kremp just going to not give him the kill. And it, again, it is a BZ. That smoke makes things a little complicated for FaZe around the mid tank. But a BZ locks down the site. He has been an animal throughout this map. Well, what a huge round this is. Like, you know, if this was like phase up 1 0 in the series, I'd be like, okay, maybe it's not the end of the world, like either way. But with a 1 0 advantage, Thieves, the upset kind of looming, the potential of that, this round is everything. Can you go up 2 0 if you're Thieves? Or is the ice there for phase? Pressure on for both sides. One final round. You've had a flurry of first bloods late here if you're phase. Draws and a BZ kind of leading the way for that. Yeah, that sort of need pressure. Nobody gets deep into the B site. The trophy was down, but a smoke down. Faze thinking about B. 
or at least trying to get them to rotate. And they do just that on the other side of the map. It is Kremp all the way through gas for now. And you can see it is difficult to get this bomb down with this sort of this door angle. There is the stun, the nade that goes on through. Trophy now down. So now maybe Simp thinking about the bomb. But this is a very tight setup here for FaZe. Last time, no trophy. You think all the way back to that round one, you opt to push it out, can't get it planted. This time, the plant comes in. 4v4 post plant. Face have to hold. Thieves now got a retake. Utility coming in, but the trophy is there for color. Cell's got the angle. He wins the first. He almost drops. Hit the 41 HP. A BZ then pounces. He's having himself a map. But Dan Ghosty, he strikes. The trade is in. Still numbers for FaZe. I just have to wait for Nasty. Can Nasty find a timing? There is the first shoulder. They're trying to isolate Celium, but the time is working against them. And down 5 3 phase, claw their way back to tie the series up at one. Woo! It's a nerve wracking one, but they bring it back. Nearly an 0 2 hole, but they get it done. A BZ like just starts going wild kind of through the mid day game. Yeah, I mean, some of the timings, right? Him, uh, well, especially Simp got in that map. We saw him with the M MCW, Abiz over towards A, just finding multi kills. He's got 2,200 damage. Bro. Yeah, Draz has 20, almost 2,800 at nine and nine. These were in control. They were finding a lot of those first bloods, but then some nice adjustments for Phase. He really did. Yeah, no, I mean. Zip was kind of out of the equation a lot of times. He only had 800 damage. Like he just was, whether it was an unfortunate timing, not, you know, not going to maybe his side, like not really, really able to make many plays, but uh, that's the great thing about uh, having kind of a superstar team like they do. Abizi's able to step it up, draws with some big first bloods. They're able to clutch up. Crimp, I mean, he had some brilliant moments as well, but not enough for thieves. Yeah, even in that round 11, right? You, you kind of had the idea you were going to play the retake, but the trophies were so clutch for FaZe, even just right through the alley. Maybe they're thinking about throwing a smoke there, front tank that we saw time and time again from true, thieves. True, yeah. That gets eaten up. The, the nades on the bomb, the planner's able to get it down safe. So, so they just had enough utility to make that clean for face. Well, well, I mean, you think about that first gunfire, like they snap on Cell, they know where he's at. Yeah. Like Cell still almost drops. Yeah, if there was, if an aid hit or a stun or something, I, yes, he probably gets dropped and maybe that retake is a, a thing of beauty, but whew, it is a close one. You almost get it done. Now you're tied up 1-1 and when you look forward to control, yeah, I mean, FaZe got the advantage there a little bit, right? Yeah, probably the uh, best team in the game right now. 7-0 throughout Major 2 qualifiers. They have been dominant in this game mode online. They have been absolutely brilliant. Uh, we'll see if they can take the advantage in the swing mode, but so far, Thieves are battling. This is a team that has improved massively. I mean, you've been you've been sensational. Uh, considering how poor it started, the improvements have continued to come on through. But do they have what it takes to take down the Titans? We'll see in the control if they can take the edge. It's coming up next after this quick break. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty Week is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
We are back and tied up 1-1. Control up next. Face has been dominant, but we'll see. It hasn't been clean. It has been scary so far for Faze. And I know I asked you, like, what you thought maybe about that LEG loss, if they'd be a little more successful. Is this like a... Faze are the most vulnerable they've looked this year, or is this just improvements from Thieves? Yeah, I think it's improvement for Thieves, right? I mean, again, you know, a team like New York and Boston, it was a close series. Uh, they were able to win a, a close search and destroy, and then they kind of ran with the, ran away with the series. We'll see if uh, Faze can, can keep that up from here. Maybe just get that momentum, calm down. Sometimes that first match on land at a tournament can be, uh, I don't know, just takes a little bit moment to focus on in. I mean, dude, even for us, like casting sometimes, like you get up yeah, here, the first, the first match, you're like, got to get used to stuff again. Like, what are we doing? Like, mm -hmm. it's a little bit different than maybe when we're casting the online league. Like, players, it's just different environment. You're not at home. You're not comfortable. Get back on the stage. Get used to it. Get the comps flowing and get back into a rhythm. It's 1-1 now, though, due to the upset in that map one. And then a comeback from Atlanta phase. We stay on invasion for our map three. Tell me a little about the records and where these guys stand, Joe. Uh, I mean, this is just, again, 7-0 for uh, Atlanta Phase throughout these control major two qualifiers. So they have been fantastic on every single map. For Atlanta Phase, or sorry, LA Thieves, again, respawn just depends on the map, but trying to get better and better hasn't been uh, the best for them. Yeah, it's like, can you get hot and, uh, I don't know, hard point under control based on your search being six and three? But the hot hand was a BZ, though, in that map, too. I mean, he was shooting nukes. Had some nasty snaps late in that one. He's looking to continue that rhythm here. Up to four and oh. They're trying to find him. He's still tucked away, and he will drop. Not able to get back to full HP. So far, so good. What, two out of three ticks on B? Yeah, and this is similar to what we saw, right, from, like, New York, where they just had one player on B pausing the clock and then everybody else slaying out. But you do get three in a row. So now the threat over towards B may not be a big deal. Now you're going to have to fight out a palace. So that's sort of the, the risk of only keeping one player, trying to find maybe some spawn kills into that defensive spawn. But you do get caught. Now you have to fight back up the map. You get that first pick, at least, to eliminate some of the crossfire. You send... Ghosty back to spawn. How efficiently can he get through on this? You've got a bit of split on the map if you are Atlanta phase. You're focusing on mid-map control. Me being opening towards A if you find the kill, but you can't win the one-on-one. -on -one. Simp is going to drop. Nasty. He gets one clean burst there. Maybe it's a different story, but you did clear the objective if you're Thieves, so you got to get this entire point back. You got two on it for now, and the minute extension is looming. Lives are going to be close. Anyone on, like, a, I guess a BC3 in a row? Maybe build on something. But yeah, again, building up from that map, too. He's, he's seven and two. Really got his team Ooh. going in a lot of these moments. But Kremp and Nasty do find some kills, so you do have Draza, who, or sorry, Simp, who's layered up inside a DVD. On the other side, it's Ghosty finding spawn kills, but they're both taken care of, so. Now, if you are a phase, you can start to work up the map. Well, trying to find spawn kills. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure he found many, but he got to that position. He got dropped, and now, yes. You layer the map, you're going to get somebody on A. You stop the clock for now at a minute 12. And any amount of stopping this and putting pressure on Thieves, maybe extending this map, or lives count. But that doesn't happen because Afro pinches quickly. He's able to drop two. You're right back to step one. A chance it comes alive. It just, it just depends if they can stop this anymore. Yeah, I mean, you go, what, four for one. So you take that all day if you are Thieves. One minute remaining. Nasty does get caught. Afro now the next man up, and while the timing doesn't go his way, middle of the tank, Draza trying to finesse, but Kremp and Ghosty holding on for now. 10 versus 8 with 40 seconds. It's trades all over the map, but BZ, the last player here for phase. The stun, the nade connects, and Ghosty's on the flank. Yeah, I was just wondering if maybe BZ could get out of the point and stop this a little bit more, give them a little more time to maybe bring this down to lives, but we'll see how the 7 v 8 plays out. Ghosty, nice shot mid-map. Now 20 to go. They had one kind of that mid-map fight. Got in the map control. Selly able to snap and win a nutty one, but you got 15 seconds to go now. Somehow you got to get on this point, at least off the clock. Just 10 seconds. You got to go. I doubt you're getting all the kills. Krim still being a nuisance. Winning some big one-on-ones. Now five to go. They're all stacked around the point. Defensive hold is there. One life left for face. Yeah, you only give up three ticks, so yeah. you don't give up anything over towards A and a nice job recovering because the start of that round, was all phase in your spawn. You're able to waste some more time. You get them off of B and yeah, I mean, they get the time extension does phase, fight on back through, have the life adva advantage, but you just know with how far they're spawning away from that point, just need to find those kills in the middle of the map. 
Yeah, they never like anytime they got map control, it just didn't last very long, did it? Like where they were allowed to apply like a constant pressure. It just seemed like it was always sort of a three, four reset. And yeah, like you said, back to spawn, start all over again. You know, where like Simp really struggled in that map. Number two, Draza gets, I mean, you've got 12 out of BC2 on Draza. I know offense can be talking around, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it can be hard 100%, <laughs> but he definitely doesn't get a rhythm, that's for sure. Oh, I thought he was just belly flopping and snapping, but he'll take down Simp. Yeah, running two rivals here is a BZ and Simp. Trying to keep that up with aggression. Oh, while this is going on, that's going to be all four dead. So Simp go. off Here spawn is able to find Yossi. So you don't get anyone on to A. You push up Kremp, but you keep two on the point. Second pit about to be done. Just avoiding nades for now. And that'll be through. You get a kill towards the back side of me. Try to pound forward if you can, but Afro there. Now you see if you can get any of this pressure leave or get that six kill. Cruise. 12 and 6, yep. there's the cruise. Number 6 through for Nasty. Now can they use that to get A? Use that to take that 2-0 advantage, but everybody drops outside of him. That's going to be everybody down. So that's a good job for FaZe, even though, I mean, it was not looking pretty throughout most of that. The fact that you get the cruise, you allow B to drop quickly. At least you get the 4 down, you get him back, and now you're kind of pinning him in. Do you yep. use the cruise to get out, depending on how long you're pinned here? You'd like to save it for a more desperate moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're tied up in ticks right now, so there's no real desperation on the crew side. I mean, you're good to go. I mean, I see, I see, you're saving it for a defense, or if you're on A, yeah, yeah. maybe just trying to get a spawn kill across the map. I was more thinking, like, you're pinning there too long. This round's going to be over, but they're starting to work their way out. Yeah, BZ up to 17. Dross still on two. <laughs> so that timing's just not... Why are you roasting, brother? Why you said that? Oh. No, I'm just Terraza still on two. Yeah, it just hasn't hasn't been getting any better, but it's just how it can be at times for, <laughs> for everybody. But props to Thieves. It's keeping this competitive. Lives all tied up. Again, ticks tied up, so it's pretty much a wipe for now. Can they get on the point? We'll see. This will be their next opportunity to try and do it. Everybody back up for phase. Ghosty, Afro, trying to be the point man here, maybe find the opener, some tags into a BZ, he's got a backup. Ghosty is able to take down one. Draza's woes continue, he at least gets up to three. But it's a tiny tears through on the feet again. And it just feels, I mean, this is similar to kind of the last round. Like you get, you get the first point and then there's just kind of nothing beyond that, like just getting locked in. Yeah, so BZ did earn a cruise himself. So you have cruises on both sides. But yeah, it's really just that. It's uh, two life advantage. And maybe Thieves just kind of know, let's not give up too many lives. We know it's tied objective. Just in case it comes down to that round five defense. If ticks are tied, it'll come down to sort of the kill count. So just trying to keep it close for this next round. Yeah, what, four separation? Not able to get that final kill. So yeah, I mean, I, it's about straightforward as it gets on invasion. I mean, sometimes pretty straightforward can be a little boring even at times when the defense got you locked in, but then maybe after round five and something crazy it goes down. But there's been just, I, I mean, there's been nothing towards A. Yeah, no, I mean, you had a player on for like a second if you were phase. That, that is it so far. Yeah, you, you had some, uh, you know, forward positions on the, the side of phase a couple of times where instead of going for the point, you tried to get in a laundry and the rugs, but they got cut down. Uh, these right there just really got nothing after B. So it's just both teams playing stellar defense on the A point. And Draws is going to spawn. This is where he takes over. It's takeover time for Drazi. You ready? I'm in. Bang! Oh! What's a double child? Does it count? And it leads to two. It leads to three. There we go. Yeah. It starts with Draws. And now they're on the eight point. I lied. Nasty <laughs> with some shots from Top Treehouse. Able to find Celian before he got to A. So a big kill. <laughs> but you do have one player over towards B if you are phase. That's going to be a BZ just hanging out. Oh, that was comedy. Sometimes you just gotta be the guy who slides in first. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Like we've simp, lose the Loibus, it's there, can't win it, it's easy, a tough gun fight. It's just like, if you, it seems like two on ones is everywhere, like double chows all over the place. They wipe the board though, if you are thieves. Pushed up again towards Vaughn's Dan Ghosty, trying to get some kills and just stagger this push. So good from thieves, just a laying on this B site. You take a four life advantage early. Draws another tough gun fight. Krimp. 
just finessing. You saw him doing the search. He's doing it here again. All these gunfights look so frustrating for FaZe right now as we hop to their POV. Yeah, I mean, they're the locked in, they're but received. Simp finds a timing middle of the map, so maybe he can get his team out, because you're thinking, can we keep this to one tick? But Simp on the pinch leads to three. Kremp was on five in a row. It was looking like maybe they weren't going to get B, but Simp right through B Dom, flanks DVD, and well, now the progress is there at B. It's the tiny terrace versus LA Thieves right now. <laughs> and now you use the cruise. You use the cruise if you are LA Thieves to try to just get them off that point and not allow them to get the three ticks, but it doesn't lead to anything. The Elise make sure they can't cleanly transition this. Once again, I mean, Gosius keeps pushing all the way up to Palace over and over and over again, just trying to get a kill or two, but the multi-kill, once again, it is there for Sep. He's nearly double positive. He's been big in both of the respawns. But still, you got to have an offensive presence at some point. And if you look at, like, Abizi and Zipper, I think oh, probably a round five defense looks good for him, but then you see draws and sell. And maybe it won't be the case. We'll see as we still have some action to go before that'll be determined. But now you've got a four-man wolf pack looking to push this forward, sitting deep on the point will be Krem. Yeah, this is where these are so good in their round one defense, stopping this next push. There's the opener. You're going two for two so far. You will take that, but now maybe a chance. Krem, the last player alive, able to find the first. And again, Ooh. just finesse buy as much time as possible. I think he spots Stellium, gives the call outs to his teammates. Now ready for the first gun fight in Kremp. 19 and 18, three in a row, a going huge. Yeah, it just feels like he's been the last line of defense kind of at times. So the guy's got to make a clutch play, win a He's going to have to do it again. He keeps on doing it, Kremp and Nasty. Going so, so big. Cruise missile is close. You take the five spree into the next round, but how many one-on-ones did he just win at the tail end of that? Yeah, he was trying to find that six. He saw a stun over the top. He goes for the chow, so he doesn't have the cruise. But as you said, carrying that spree, and again, just all about, what, three ticks? So very back-and-forth battle as we head into round four. And as little uh, as success as you've had <laughs> offensively for Faze, I mean, same true for Thieves. See, maybe they can find an opening, a cruise maybe they can use offensively. Or maybe you hold on to a round five, we'll see, but Krim's still got to earn it. Far more of a balanced effort, certainly on the Thieves' side, but we can't see the damage numbers right now, so that might be might be a lot closer. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Dry's probably in the lead somehow. Yeah. <laughs> just how the scoreboards work at the end of the game is there is the first blood, and. You kind of saw it early in the last round for Thieves where they're just trying to get aggressive. You might see it same thing for here for FaZe. That's going to be four dead off spawn. And now can you get pushed up towards this tank? Cell was there and they're able to find both of them. So they deal with that first wave. But Draza, he pushes forward. Similar position we've seen Ghosty in so many times. And now you got to start turning heads. Worried about where he's at. It looks like he's actually going to back it up towards Palace to try to take another one-on-one. -on -one. Got to keep Afro out of the fight as that one-on-one -on -one continues. This time Afro is able to take it. You got another one-on-one -on -one the back side. That's a BZ who loses his. All these one-on-one, -on -one, it's just it's thieves that are winning them. And now they're on to the point. Everybody else falling for face. I mean, that's a two-on-one for Kremp. He gets so far pushed up, he's able to find two, which pretty much, yeah, keeps them away from this point. But you have the cruise missiles if you are phase One in doesn't connect, but gets them off the point and a chance to retake this if you are phase. That's what they're trying to do. They only want to give them these two ticks to carry into the next round of secure round five defense. Yeah, it seems possible. 40 seconds to go. So far, they've been holding. Afro takes that one, though. Cell follows it up. Another cruise maybe looming as he's got four straight. You get up, pushed up. Simp, it's his turn to kind of push up where we just saw Draza making the plays. Just staggering them, buying time. They got to wait to get four people in this fight. It's Ghosty. Taking out draws, Cell holding, two will fall out for phase. A chance to push, Cell's position given up, and they double Chow. It's a thing of beauty. Simp last gap, he at least gets one off of A, so you don't have to worry about the fight on both fronts. B, though, about to finish, extra minute extension in, minute 15 to work with. Phase just a minor life advantage here. Yeah, so you have that minute. You still have the cruise on the sip. I thought maybe if like you get a first kill there on the B, you invest it to try to not allow them to, to get that point, but doesn't come on through. He's gonna hang on to it potentially for round five if we get there. Deep still with a chance. A one life advantage now for them as they get pushed up now in a good spot inside a cafe. You have nasty inside of rugs. There's the comms though. Cell gets it, and well he responds with a headshot. It's like you gotta push back and you just get some of these clutch kills. Ghosty doing his best to do it. 
No, here we go. Three are going to drop. A chance to go. One person. It's Rods that's got to go clutch. From the position we saw Crip do it. He doesn't do it. Ghosty able to they put him down. Alive. They get on the point. Everybody's up. A three stack is in. Now the crew's coming through. Sip's got 32. But it might be for the L. That's not going to hit. Second bit of progress done. They got to surge on forward. A BZ with one. Can't get through. Hold on. And Sip connect. But you win it if you're Crip. Of course it's Crip. Time and time again, he wins his 101. I thought it was so close. It was so, so close. I thought FaZe just did enough. But Kremp with some big gunfights. FaZe were weak. Look at that. Both players, one bullet, the 30 bomb for Kremp. The rookie going massive. And that is FaZe's first loss in control of the stage. Yeesh. Well, yeah, no, Draws wants that one back. He is lowest in damage, triple negative, could not get anything going that map. But how good is Krimp in? Whether it's the finesse and the search to destroy, the clutch kills he's able to come through with. And that that moment was quite literally throughout the three round, four rounds, the only moment where it was like three dead on defense, where you had a chance to really make a play. And yeah. then draws can't draws draws in that spot. He's gotta get he's gotta get one I, I, something maybe. I've been thinking about this small thing of that that last player who's able to get on the point right. He's he's crossing one shot. You have the crews come in. I mean, if there's one less player on it, maybe you have a chance there. Hundred percent. Our phase. No, I think you're right. It's either draws needs to kill one, and he's the last guy there, or one yeah. get one dies on the cross. The fact they all get through. How often does that happen? Yeah. Uh, not often. Yeah, the crowd here in the stats now. Looking at the stats, I mean. Afro's only out with 3,400 damage, but it doesn't matter. He hits the W. Ghosty and Kremp, they did it in map one in the respawn. They do it here as well. Nasty with some big moments. You had, I mean, a BC and Sim go crazy. Celium, though, shows that he is a uh, human at times. Yeah, no, no, 100%. I think even in the map one, he was negative. Like, wait, this is a guy that's like, how many qualifier stages, how many majors has he had the number one overall KD? One of the more consistent players from a statistic standpoint ever. He is not doing it right now. As this Thieves team, it's like things have finally started to click. Woo! And I was reading during the break, our guy Brian Stats, he, he tweeted out, Ghosty is 2-0 all time versus FaZe. Seven and one map count, now like what, like eight and two? So it, this guy loves playing this team. Well, you think about that that year with Optic, and I mean, what was it? There was a stretch where it was like 11 and a one, yeah, like they, Optic or something like that. Yeah. Like, they dominated that. So yeah, he's in sort of the midst of that But it's, it's helped that rivalry. him carry that confidence sure, into yeah. this matchup. He's shooting, that's for sure. Now he's been playing so, so aggressive. He's not backing down from anything. But man, I, I, I'm thinking, I mean, just, just based on stats, the control pedigree you've got for FaZe, after you know, that search come back, I'm like, whoa, that might be it. Not anymore, flip that on, Ted, because now, now you win the control, who the hell knows? Yeah, I mean, from the last year, yeah, I don't know who the last player was from FaZe, but they were on their way, about to slide into the point, but just enough was done. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're talking about confidence. I'm not sure what he was yelling across the stage, but I'm going to guess that Dan Gossi was saying something like, You're a great person. You're a fantastic person, or like, you're all dog shit. One of, one of those two, probably, yeah. Joe. Yeah. One of those two is LA Thieves winning both of these respawns. I mean, it's almost a 3 0. Very close. Comes down it should to be a 3 0. Comes like, down to around 11. Is this Thieves team looking better and better? Ah, this is just, this is so unreal, man. And, Bit by bit, that LAG series looks like more, maybe like a little, a little slump here too for, for FaZe is some uh, vulnerability certainly showing, but can they bring it back? And just the energy, the passion is there for Thieves right now. They know how close they are. And we were thinking like a dark horse, you know, I, how, how much should I chat about it like on the broadcast? Like thinking someone, someone's gonna be, there's gonna be some upset, someone's gonna do it. Someone might make a run. And the most logical ones are Paris and Thieves, considering what they're the five Vegas. and two. Now I got, now you did it. Now I did it. Vegas and Thieves, like they're the most logical ones at what five and two and four and three. I just, we need to go on a trip to Paris or something. Just get it out of our system. I don't maybe, know. Maybe that's Just it. you and me, like leave the wife at home. Just romantic getaway. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. Why? I got a lot of credit card points. Well, we're going to Rio, that's why. Oh, oh, okay. I'm down for that too. Going to Rio. As we can see there, the the, the records here. Phase 2 and 0. First in rotation, third in hold on the opposite side. LA Thieves 1 and 2, but first in hold percentage. We'll see. 
But do the stats matter? They may not. All right, this series, I don't think so at all, Joe. No, they do not. Stats out the window. Los Angeles Thieves. Beginning of the year, they were in a dumpster. Now they're a map away from a massive upset here in round one. The improvements over stage two have been insane. Can you get it done here, or are we going all the way to a map five? They're still hot. Is they're lighting up early into the hard point. Because listen, I was still struggling to believe early on, but now for that map, I'm a believer. Yeah, it's just they're playing such a well-rounded team game, but nice start there. They find the 20 points. Phase fight on back through. Obviously, no trophies down until right now. So stuns, nades going to give you a huge advantage. The cell with the multi-kill. He's got to get going after that map number three. Can Abizi and Simp keep it up? You would think on a map like Rio, this is their playground. But Afro saying, nope, it is mine. And see, here we go. Some aggression, maybe to try to get early P2 control for Thieves. But Simp is yeah. going to find a double. You think, like, Simp smacked Mac MacArthur and Abizi smacked Raj? Like, wake up? No, because Crowder is like the founding father of family values. And he doesn't believe in that. That's a good point, Joe. That's a good point. In the point and locking it down. Trying to rally back in this one if you are phase. Not words that I thought were going to leave my mouth in this series, but here we go. They need draws to pick it up massively. Some awkward timing there from Abizi. Now the pressure on Aselium to maybe make the play, but the help is in by the way of Simp, and he's been demonic. And the respawn oh, falls that one to the forehead as he hits it and gets three. Simp has been electric, but hasn't been winning the maps. Yeah, I mean, great play, though, from Simp, because he heard the trophy going crazy when Krem got that kill. I thought with the, the kill, Krem maybe opens up for his teammates, but there was a trophy down, and then Simp watching that cross. Still some pressure here. The rest of P2. Just Krem trying to find a timey on to Draza. But it's phased with an early lead, and an on-rotation will be LA Thieves in control, finding kills at the best time. So I know they're different maps. They play out very differently. Invasion can be unique, you know, obviously, with the changes, but... You know, their recipe success, it was gritty, right? We talked about it so much, like how they kept it messy, didn't let FaZe get into their setups. What's the recipe to win here on Rio, you think, of your Thieves? Yeah, I think these holds, right? We saw they were they were number one in hold percentage, but there's a big break at this P3 for me. Keep the trades effective. It's been such a balanced effort in those respawns. They have to keep that up as they're going to fight right back into uh, it. And sell him, though, started it going. Looking MacArthur's for number, back! Looking for number six, not going to find it. Draws is still, he, <laughs> he's two and seven. It's been a rough couple of maps in a row, but it seems like Cell has come alive. As he keeps coming through with kills, can Tess on the point for now as we start thinking about the next point. Kremp able to hit there with the Simtex. Kremp's been a, 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 a stallion. 10 and 7, three in a row for him. So many heroic efforts. Up to four now, trying to push towards trees. Doesn't get the time, he gets there, but there's one more for the trade. So six in a row, not going to come to fruition. It'll end on five. Yeah, but you would have loved to have a cleanup set up there if you were LA Thieves. The problem was Simp got through. He just snuck through, kind of hung out where the bomb site was and found a kill in the back. And then that allowed FaZe to get pushed up and spawn them out. But there we go. Again. This time it's nasty with a multi-kill to give them control on this hill. Stuns, nades flying on through. Here comes Atlanta phase. Here they come. You saw two inch feet if you're nasty. The nades just start hitting from everywhere. Simp snaps and Afro drops. Crimp ripped, backing up. And the final 20 seconds look the go the way of phase. Now we think about the next setup if we are thieves. Ghosty waiting, holding, smoked. Is two around the edge. I mean, it looks like that sequence, honestly, the last map, where it just felt like it was these crazy one on twos and challenging things so well together for your thieves. You saw it there from Atlanta phase for a moment, but now another setup for thieves. He talked about the need for the holds to be strong. A chance to do it again. Yeah, we just saw in that P4, but it's, you know, you get it, you hit in, but then phase just, I mean, no trophies were down, so they catch your timing, the stuns, the nades hit, but this time seems to be much cleaner early. And that's a nice gunfight one from Cell, just not throwing away his life either and staggering this a bit. And as I say it, bang, three drop as Hold Thieves on, get no, the kills. Just a play like that. Sip just keeps a little scrappy, maybe gives him another chance, but you're right back into the hard point pretty quickly. And it's starting 30 seconds off of this. Nate's hit all over the place. Get him out of the point for a second. One is able to hit the Simtex from Cell. And even though, I mean, you got like a solid 30 seconds or so, it's still like, there's been no one in the point for the last 15. 
you know, last like 20, 25 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty much been nobody, but yeah, FaZe doing a good enough job to keep that messy. Now rotating over to B1, but it's Afro on the pinch who only finds the first. Here comes the rest of Thieves. They try to get on Ooh. through. Ghosty was looking for six in a yep. row, but no cruises earned. So FaZe now with P1 control in the setup. Well, Cramp was on five. Now Ghosty on five, just struggling to get that six kill. I mean, our first series today for the Boston one, the streaks were so big. Here we'll see if they matter in a real, if they can earn them, but basically a tie game. Ghosty with a nice little multi, but... Yeah, it takes a long route right through boxes, finds the timing, and, well, he gets the break, so nice play there from Ghosty. I'm easy. Can't win the fight out front. Again, it lights up red. Thieves, play after play, no double from Simp this time. They all get wiped off the board, and it's a reset. Great start here in your second set if you are Thieves. You still have that right side control from uh, the next hard point, but you get two kills and now you have a chance to pounce. As the next hard point, you see the lock, it's getting ready to pop. Work it all the way deep. It's going to be draws. He's going to have that one on one, I believe, with Kremp. They're able to take him out. Two on one, they're pushing through. You're about to pound. You're collapsing from everywhere right now. If you yeah, were you see the spawns from Trump and Afro so far away. You're hoping Josie and Nasty can find a little bit more, but they buy enough time. A, a nade connects. You're a little bit staggered here. If you are these, you'd like to slow it down, hold some position on the map. You just keep kind of going one at a time. Obviously, the spawns stagger them. Thought Afro, thought Afro like double jumped there for a second. It looks so awkward from BZ's POV, but three throw. Sam draws a BZ all lighted up. Four in a row for a BZ. They're up 15. They're in a hole in the series, though. They're trying to rally. Let's hear the comms now from FaZe as draws a get to going. Yeah, let's knock this one out. Yeah. Heard you. On team is Zig. I think he's going to be one in the back. Time to Hunter. On team back in. Yeah, he's in the fucking yellow room. And then one's close to me, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm my Zig. I'm coming to you middle fast. I'll see him. I'll see him. I think one's Prime. And uh, Eskies. Two in the back of me. Watch out. Look out. He might push. He might push. He's dead. There's plenty of flea market. He's dead. There's plenty of flea market. He's dead. 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 28 and 16 for Cell. Simp still pushing the tempo with the rival. Cell able to connect from up top. Draws was what, like two and seven, two and nine. Like still, you know, negative, but started to play kind of even from that point forward. Can Nasty have the opener? 
through the dust and flame and fury. Selian will get a headshot. Draws it, getting extra ones now. With some blowing up on the map. Everybody drops. Sim sends it forward, but can't quite finish it. But they're soaking up time, Joe, and getting yeah. close to victory. They Sim was hoping to just get ready for that second kill yeah, for that yeah. double, but doesn't happen. Trophy gone now. Afro with the first. Onto this push now, Thieves. It's desperation time. Or we're headed to a game five. Three dead. Sim started getting going as Draza. He's up to oh. even. What a turnaround here for Draza. As he's able to lock back in his phase now, 13 away. Yeah, it was rough for a couple maps here for Draz. But he has heated up massively. Now he has seen five to push this to the map. Five of the next hard point ready to go. To mid map we go. You'd have to basically get 80 straight points if you're going to do it. Can they contest? Not going to happen. Face come alive in the map four. They win the Rio. We're going the distance. Woo, it was tight early. Well, early it's tight throughout. It ends up being like an eight point win, but still, you saw the gun start to get hot for some of the other phase members there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Selium had a, what, a couple of five sprees. He finishes 32 and 18. Draza got going with some big multi kills. It was a much more team effort for the side of phase. These were there, though. Again, just a couple of holds that they did not find. Uh, you know, look at the P3s for them. We're talking about how that could be a great amount of time if you're able yeah. to push up middle of the map, but the pressure was always there. The breaks were there. And I think the most impressive thing for me for FaZe was kind of around their P2s. That's where they found a majority of their early holds, and they, they converted it into time. So just take a look at those stats. Well, yeah, I mean, Selium, he bounces back, leads the lobby, 32 and 18, almost 5,500 damage. But now... We go to a search, and this is like where it's interesting because, you know, this is, uh, you know, David and Goliath in some ways with the way that the season started for Thieves and the way you've been playing to Fear Phase. But, Joe, when you take a look at the overall qualifier records for Search and Destroy, it's been great for FaZe, and we're going to a high rise where FaZe have looked vulnerable at times in, in Thieves. Uh, what, they've only played, I think, like once in a 1 and 0, but I think you're feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, so I'm saying, well, no, I'm saying it's the one they had the advantage. what, 6 and 3 in search over the qualifier, 5 and 4 for FaZe, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not many advantages you're going to get. It's in search. They've been a solid search team. Can you win one more map? Can you take the search and destroy? Can you get it done? Because, I mean, like you said, I think you, you nailed it. Uh, I, they were up, what, 4-1, then 5-3? Like, this should have been 3-0. Yeah, no, uh, but uh, the adjustments are there. Uh, BZ starts to get going. But High Rise has been a struggle for FaZe. You know, this qualifier, 1-2. and two, Maybe, you know, Thieves have, have the openings, have the VOD review. I just think, yeah, since the beginning of this year when we watch them on High Rise at times, I'm just yeah. like, I, it's never seemed to be, like, that strong for them. But it is the map 5. Uh, here we go. One more map to the side. If Thieves can get the upset, it all goes down right after this quick break. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator, now available in-game in the Call of Duty store.
everybody back to Miami in an upset maybe looming. Map five, Thieves phase. It's the final match of the day. And maybe some Cinderella type magic. If Thieves can win this win, who knows what kind of run they can make. But we're going to high rise now and who the hell knows, Joe? This one's been wild. No, it has. And again, this is a map that's solid for Thieves. You're like, well, one and oh. I mean, you haven't played it a ton, but you win on it, right? You take that where the other side. Yeah, for... one of those sort of like, okay, well, you yeah, can win. You yeah. can win. Yeah. Right. It's in the map pool. Put it in the map <laughs> yeah, pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where for Atlanta phase, it's one that, you know, again, major two qualifiers, one and two. They've had some losses there. You know, we've seen some struggles with a, someone like a BZ where just can't get anything going with that rival. A lot of times you can be on those timings, what you're able to do. But I think one player who's really gotten going has been him. And then on the other side, it's Kremp. No, Joe, I want you to tell me why Dan Ghosty is taking over this map. He's taking over. All right, he's shooting well, I guess. Yeah, that's right. No, he's never lost face. That's why he's, oh. he's taking over. <laughs> he's going big here in the five. I got a feeling. But uh, I just want, give me a banger to close out day one. Let's go the distance. I'm sure fans of either side are like, nah, I'm good. Let's just get a 6 0 and get yeah. out of here. <laughs> But this map can be a, a wild one. The timings, the angles, it can just be such an insane search and destroy map. Everyone's just on their belly vibing on the other yeah, side. Look at this cross setup from Kremp oh. and Afro. Hey, we're in Miami, let's get some sun. Yeah, I mean, and this is a spot where as soon as that bomb is planted, or maybe you have info, you just get oh. a free first blood. Did we see a BZ here first where he was sort of like a gymnast on his nipples, right? Yeah, that's exactly that. Now yeah. Kremp, he, he's taking that spot. He didn't have a, a player under him, so you can see. There's the info, just backs on down, but pretty much a stalemate so far, the first half of this round. Power nipples, just holding here, waiting to pounce. There we go. And pounce he will. BZ, though, he is able to snap a trade, and he gets away. That is massive. Afro almost able to get him, but... Bomb down, though. Bomb Ooh. down. They have to chow Afro. Bomb is down. Okay, yeah. well, there's a chow. It's Cell, who heated up in the map four and guns Afro to sleep. Afro so close. To maybe close out that round, but not gonna happen. 20 to go. A bit of a chow with the, with the, the rival there. And now maybe just down to nasty, but the poles get in your way. Some nice early shots, but the number's too strong for Atlanta Faze. Apesius uh, getting away. Yeah. And then maybe a bit of an over chow there from Afro. Yeah, you were saying like FaZe have got a chow. I mean, the next thing you know, it's sell at range against Afro with the rival. Yeah, yeah. Good, good luck. You know, that's maybe one of those rounds where you're in a spot 30 seconds left. You know you don't have much help, just try to reposition, get away from underground, but doesn't happen. Hey, Miles. Instead, you have phase up 1-0. Here we go, round two. Let's see if Thieves can answer back now. We'll take a look at their opening offense. Afro trying to be the playmaker after maybe yeah, a little bit of an ego challenge that early round, but he's been so good with those opening duels. Yeah, very slow round here so far. We kind of saw that last round. Then it got crazy, but there's going to be that first blood. Nasty so darn good in this spot. Now numbers over to Thieves, and it looks like there might be trying to be a response for FaZe, and that's it. They try to get aggressive, catch maybe Thieves on a timing, but it does not work out. Kremp are ready for it. And now it's all down to Abizi. A clean round from Thieves. Nobody goes down. And they tied up. That's been twice where it's like Simba and Abizi are nearly like perfectly stacked and dropped. Like Kremp almost gets them this time. It was what nasty or whatever last round. Like almost just shooting straight through both. Or sorry, Kremp the first round, but. Kremp here closes it out. All square. As our back and forth dance in this series continues on. Try to keep an eye on adjustments throughout the course of it, but Kremp takes two in a row to this round. Right, Kremp's up to three. Yeah, Nasty with two in that first blood. The other side, it's a BZ and Celium. Face starting to hit this B street a little bit quicker. Have those trophies down. It's going to be Afro inside the site. Ghosty tag, but still up. Draws are getting some info. And the info is an explosion into his eyeballs, but he's still up. 53 HP remaining. Sell. First blood. Crimp is gone. Yeah, we saw FaZe maybe trying to find a timing with the, after the first blood. I think Afro goes for the same thing right there. Just trying to catch FaZe as they get pushed up, but it has not happened. It's not happened. It's, again, FaZe just with a response on offense. It was a clean round for Thieves. It's a clean round for FaZe. 
a little dose of their own medicine. And right back in the lead. But Cell, yeah, picking him apart early on, just winning those fights at range. A clutch one in that round one to get the round victory. Here, the first blood and the follow up. Then the dominoes continue from there. Abizi goes nuclear in that map, too, to bring him back. Well, it's been all, all offense here so far. So our offensive teams, yeah, just finding those first bloods. And you can see the defense, they try to react somewhere on the map. It just has not worked out. We'll see what Thieves, sorry, FaZe tried to do this time through. Kind of group it up, trying to hit nades out through mid. See if maybe they can find like an opener on defense, get a little bit of advantage, but it's still pretty deep. Just sort of waiting out all the utility, letting the entire map explode around them as the Michael Bay film continues. Ghosty looking for his one-on-one -on -one opener, maybe a double chow opportunity. That's exactly what it is. Beautifully done there for FaZe. Draza and Abizi. Abizi just shouldering. Draza with the finisher, a little one-two combo to open it up. I mean, yeah, I mean, the pole players were trying to, you know, shoulder it right there. They're trying to go for it again, but Nasty gets away. So it's not a first blood, but it evens out the r around. It's a first blood in its its own way to make this a three versus three. Yeah, it's like he had seven HP. They're so close to do it, but Simp, the patience is there. Cell toying with his food. He'll back up for now. Now you're trying to think about how you're going to get this bomb down. 30 seconds now to go. Simp once again, the patience, the reposition, the angle, the timing. It's all there. Simp is deep in his bag, and that's another round for FaZe. The fantastic series for Simp continues. Well, I mean, what, map two was a struggle, right? Just because it felt like a lot of the time he's weren't going his way where this round. That's true. Uh, it was really the response that he was insane. Yeah, the map two was not good. So I think a round like that makes him feel, feel comfortable, gets him locked in a little bit. So he finds some freebies, just some good timings, has the info, repositions as he finds three in the round now on four in a row. And well, maybe you cast your curse, Ghosty, because he's on three. So this is probably your fault. Oh, sorry. What? I'm sorry, I was distracted. I was thinking about getting lost in Miles' beard. Have you ever thought about it? He's sitting right over there. Oh, never thought about it once? I have. But Ghosty, yeah, the 0 and 3. That's my bad. That is my bad. Sent four straight. Afro just starting to work his way in behind enemy lines. We'll see if the read's there. Certainly is in Traza. Gonna drop. 4v2. Sell. We'll see if it can be enough. Sip Cell trying to bring it back in the two versus four. I mean, you find that first blood, then Afro just able to find the opening from Atlanta phase. But yeah, keeping that man advantage. It's a nice trade, but just not a lot of time to work with. You're, you're hoping Sim can find something on the map, but finds a bullets, bullets through a fence, just able to get away. But time working against them. They have to recollect this bomb. And while that happens, a ghosty. Able to find the first, his teammate able to take down the second and nasty. Oh, he's going to break it back down. Not, he's going he's gonna to get hot now. Did I just reverse cast across the curse? Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. And we'll see as the adjustments start to come through over the course of this map five. But just doing a good, just just keeping it close, like not going in a hole. I mean, obvi I mean, obviously you can pull it back from four one as they uh, know very well from the map two, but just keeping it within a round for now. Yeah, I think both teams doing a, a fantastic job with their first bloods, turning them, converting them in a in a round win, is just so important. Well, but yeah, especially yeah. on a map like High Rise, where it, sometimes things can get a little bit, a little bit crazy. Yeah, and it comes down to like a, a 1v1, like these little 2v2 skirmishes. Like, yeah, it's been some lopsided rounds, right? Yeah, that first domino falls, you kind of handle business. None of the, the wild and wackiness that is, well, uh, a bit more fun at times, just the craziest ensues. But still, we're only five rounds in. Plenty of chances for that still. All the lethals going out. Wow, Kremp ready for that. He's like, I play that spot. So he watches that sip, not able to hit the headshots. And as he backs away, there is another first blood. And well, it's from Draza, but Sim just going to go away, run away from his life. Draza going to take his position. And there is Cell from this spot. He's going to have a ton of info. Gives the calm. Hey, he climbed the ladder into B. Draza just waiting, seeing if he can find a timing. And there, Cell gets that kill. Picking him apart again behind the first blood. One drops, the rest seem to follow. Unless Ghosty can pull off something insane. He tacks another kill, but not going to matter much. The trade is through. Simp is there. Time for the defuse. And 
I mean, that was pretty much the same story as the rest of this search has been. Yeah, it's just great info there from Cell. I mean, obviously, he's simply able to play his life, then Draza watching over him. And while that happens, you get the reposition from Cell, bottom blue, able to watch that ladder into B. That's just all the info they need. And as soon as they know that bomb's starting to get planted, they know, all right, th those guys have to watch over the bomb planter, so Selium works the full flank, and yeah, they just suffocate him. Yeah. I, it's every free round, just somebody getting suffocated out one by one. First player to ever get back-to-back -back 100 kill series. It is Simp. He has had a sensational year. His respawns have been nuts. He's doing well here in the map five. Just some terrific moments from him, but you got to win this series. You're up two rounds. Draws is getting smoked, but he's still up. Simp, chance to make the play. There's the first blood. Advantage again. He knows he's got one close. Ghosties, position, give it up by the gunfight he's just in as he just creeps on forward and he will fall. We'll see what happens there. But yeah, first blood jumps in. We kind of saw something going on. Nasty is able to find a kill. Afro now inside of the site, just trying to, to lock this down, maybe get them off the bomb. But right now, Faye's not going to go for it. They're just going to go hunting. They kind of know the area that Afro likes to play, just waiting for him patiently. Ah, uh, if you could catch draws there, maybe get a bit of a bigger chance in the round, but he's able to back up to the heady. He's able to win the fight. It will be awesome. I was staring at the minimap when you kind of reacted. It looked like, was it a... I don't know. Play with the... I know we had a couple, a couple of resets to an issue earlier, but seems we're continuing on for now. Match point. It was a big lead in the map too. That you had if you're thieves, they couldn't close it out. Okay, uh, so I think we're going to take a pause here, maybe yeah. for a moment, and look at that uh, that last one, because yeah, he was just kind of looking up in the air. Oh, it's funny because I, when I looked at him, he was kind of holding the angle, and I looked at the mini map, and I, you reacted. I'm like, what did I miss? So he just looked at the air. Perfect. We're seeing what's going to be the deal there. As soon as we've got more information, we'll let you know. But pause for now. We'll see what the ruling will be. Yeah, honestly, I, I thought like maybe he was going to find the timing where like it, maybe you, you get that one kill B Street and they just kind of forget about him. Maybe just think there was only one, not two. Behind the elevator. So you got on that flank. But yeah, we'll, we'll uh, try to update you when we can. But as it stands for now, just one more round needed for FaZe. They bounce back, simp and sell. Leading the way for us now as we uh, wait for sort of the league upside to decide what's going down. We're gonna show you just a little update on our bracket in case you joined this late. Maybe you think FaZe might be getting upset, so you hop into the stream late. This is how it's played out so far today as our winner's bracket round one matches are going down. Optic, Ultra, Subliners continue on. Uh, pretty expected based on the favorites taking is anything uh outside of the series maybe surprise you today no I, I think you know some close matches even ultra legion i was really excited to watch that legion team uh yeah and, and they continue to be a threat so hopefully they go on a loser's bracket run but they're gonna have a tough losers round one matchup i'm looking at those tomorrow heretics ravens uh legion surge and then breach rocker and then uh yeah loser uh, of this one will play lag so we'll, we'll see all those teams tomorrow Imagine if they lose this series, they have to play LAG again. The LAG are just the FaZe Reapers. Well, yeah, we were talking about that the back to back 100 plus kills for Sim, but it's like, hopefully, it's not all losses. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, no. It was versus LAG where he was going crazy. Yeah, right? Like, they that's, lost. So. It's, like, it's one of those stats. It's like, it's cool. It's a great record, yeah. but it doesn't matter when you're not winning the game. I'm sure he feels the same way. Um, but again, if you're just joining, it's just a bit of an issue. Not sure if it's uh, PC side control or what's going on, but uh, we had a player look at the sky and we're trying to get that figured out with our admins and League Ops team, and then we'll get back into it. If you see us looking down constantly, it's because that's where our TV is. Is. So we're checking to see what the, what, when the gameplay continues. But uh, you got to bring it back more than likely. Maybe maybe something happens where it's actually like a 4-2 advantage or phase. We'll see what the ruling is. But uh, what do you do here, you think? Where, where do the improvements have to come, the adjustments come if you're LA Thieves? Like, what's been the major, major flaw? Well, I think they just be the first blooded. And then what happens there after those first bloods is, I mean, they're trying to get maybe a little too reactive. And phase are just playing very kill heavy. They're not really working the objective. So... Uh, just playing safe again if you have to play a retake play the retake uh, you know it's not the worst case scenario on a map like high rise saw phase able to do it just a couple of rounds ago it looks like they're playing rock paper scissors on the main stage so you keep the hands warm joe and uh, the team vibes up in chemistry 
rock, paper, scissors. Or maybe that's how all the thieves decide who's going to carry bomb. Maybe. Still figuring that out, so. I mean, at least they're in good spirits. No, he, uh, Dan Gosey was once known to be a top 1.5% rock, paper, scissors player in the world, Joe. He's got the mind for it. Is there an ELO for that? Yes, yeah, sir. No, it's an ELO, just like chess. Yeah, he's worked his way up the ranks. Okay. I don't think that's a thing. No. No, no, definitely, definitely not. But uh, looks like. Uh, I'm assuming if they're ending the game, something's going to happen. Yeah, we're ending the game and just still waiting on a ruling. So that's the last thing we heard is just uh, what the comp op side decision is going to be. Whether we're going to stand at 5-2 and hop back into it, get back to 4-2. I still don't know when the issue started. I, we, you saw that one moment, but I'm not sure when it started, if there was a request. It was just that moment, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing yes, but... For now, all you can do is try to uh, stay locked on the stage if you're these players, maybe talk through it. I mean, if you're phased, the conversation is probably... Okay, so we just got the update. It's kind of what I guessed. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a 4-2 advantage for phase. So that round basically just gets wiped off the board. We're going to hop back into it. We'll try to hopefully have a graphic where we kind of update you on the true score. And yeah. you just need two rounds of your phase. You got to rip off four if you are thieves. We get back into the action here shortly. Yeah, these will be on the defensive side. Phase on back on the attacking side. And it's, yeah, it's kind of what I figured. I'm like, yeah, he's just yeah. happened. So hopefully get that resolved, get them back into the game. and. Get back to the match because it's a game five. Yeah, if anything, I mean, I, I guess if you're thieves, like, I'm not saying this doesn't give advantage to anyone, but at least maybe you get the chance to talk through maybe some of the mistakes or where you're falling apart or what we can improve or try to change, maybe give you a little bit of a breather. I mean, if you're phased, I think it's sort of like continue business as usual. Like we're up 5 2, or well, 4 2 now, but we were in control, need a couple of rounds, we're kind of dominating, but maybe just some conversation you have for thieves, you can find something, maybe improve your odds here. Yeah, they're probably just happy it's 4-2. And not 5-2, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, there's got to be some conversation outside, but I'm here. We're about 30 seconds out from game, and we will get into it. Surely you've had this happen on the stage at some point, Joe. Or you... I'm sure. That was a long time ago, though. A long time ago. We're up there. You got, like, Nameless trying to tell you strats, just making up stuff on the fly. What was it like teaming with Nameless? Oh, yeah, we had a great run, honestly. Good run. That's my guy over there. Hey, you guys did get carried by formal for quite a while. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm cool with that. By <laughs> job. All of them. Yeah. I have no problem being that guy. Oh. But yeah, back All right. Hey, we're loading back up. All righty. Say, back in my, my day, I mean, you couldn't plant the bomb. <laughs> for, wait, was that Ghost, right? Yeah, shout out IW. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we had. We're playing Search and Destroy. Uh, <laughs> you just can't play with the bomb, so the objective is uh, just not one. And. So again, phase up 4-2. In our map five, they are back on the attack, and we are back in the game. All righty. Let's see if Thieves somehow make some adjustments in the brief downtime there, or Thieves continue to struggle with phase, close this out. Here we go, right back to it. The nades hit, the first one is in. Ghosty, the king of rock, paper, scissors, also holding nades. I mean, that's one of those things early on, right? When you reset the game, no trophies. Well, that first blood again. After the first blood, the defensive team has tried to get aggressive, maybe to take something away, try to even up the odds. It has just not worked for either side. And well, it was 4-2, and now it's very quickly 5-2. Yeah, no, that, uh, you blinked, and that one was done. Honestly, the league ops decision took about 20 times longer than that round did. Yeah. Just right in the nade, and then, yeah, just Steve's just tried to find something heli side, but Selium was ready for it. And they get hunted. So now pressure on Thieves. Yeah, pressure's been there. Now it's now it's really ramped up. You're so close to taking this series. Now just got to win four straight rounds. One of the better teams at finding first bloods, one of the better teams at capitalizing off of it, and you need it now. You need it desperately, but Abizi, back to it, first blood, bang. Afro is dropped, face have bounced back, and now one step closer. They're not gonna look at this? Avoiding this scare. They, they haven't watched this at all. They haven't even checked it. I mean, if Abizi would've went, maybe he would've ended the game, but he's like thinking they're gonna focus on me. That is not the play, so Bomb is down. 
Crimp's sort of been looking. Like, well. <laughs> at times he's been trying to pick it up. He's able to take out Simp. He's trying to keep an eye. Maybe one of these he's going to pounce. That threat is still looming. So keeping his head on a swivel. Now, what are you doing in the three versus three? Well, he's going to hit Crimp. But now, I don't know if Drazen knows that's underground, but it is. Yeah, he's looking up top. We're on the other side of the map. You're going to have a one versus one. Dosi, though. Ooh. Getting some shots in, and Abizi does take down Nasty. So man advantage back to phase, trying to close out the game and the series. Nice slide by Dosti, but it's down to him. Abizi has buys his time, finally pounces. Now, can Ghosty make something miraculous happen? 15 to go. It isn't there. It's Abizi with the final one, and Thieves has improved. It was scary moments there for phase, but you do enough to move on. It's not done in a beautiful or pretty fashion if you're phased, but a win's a win. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes you, you look back at tournaments, and sometimes that winner's round one, that's a bit of a scare, kind of gets the adrenaline going, the blood flowing, gets you locked in for the rest of your tournament. Sometimes it's a good thing, but I, I think if you're thieves, yeah, it's probably one that, that map number two especially you want back. But it's what happens with a newer roster, right? You play in one of the top four, you give them an inch, they take a mile, the same thing happened, but a lot of improvements there for thieves. Yeah, you just said map two, you'll be thinking about like the 4-1 lead, a chance to maybe just get it done, but not quite done. Phase survive. There's a reason they've been so consistent since the inception of the CDL. Sometimes in a hole, but they're able to pull it out and still get the victory. But it's a scare, and now he's chained together. He's lost two series, that's two. I mean, you lose one, you probably should have lost another. If anyone had him, maybe as the favorites to still 